We're gonna talk to the to the king, to so say the least. All right, let's go get him. Hello. Hello. This is Amber, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. This is the manager of the studio, and this is my boss. Yes. Right. That's that's me. If you didn't know, this is the king. I really love, I admire the mind. The way that you move through the world and how you make things happen, that's the most beautiful thing. And I feel like I see that in you. And it's like, it's beyond his talents. It's just, it's, it's a quality of a king. Please introduce yourself. Not because people don't know you, because people know you. Who are you? First of all, thank you so much for the words. It, it, it means a word to me. And I'm, you know, I'm just a, a, a Peruvian, 40 year old from Lima from El Barrio de Peru, and uh, you know, I'm just somebody that loves dancing, that uh, is passionate about what, uh, what I do, and I believe that when you're passionate, uh, truly passionate about what you do, you can, uh, people see that on you, and that's, that's all I do, like, you know, there's no uh, secret recipe, secret sauce, it's just uh, uh, put passion and, and, and put um, determination. When you want something, you put that as your goal, and you, you go for it. What made you realize this is what you wanted to do for a living? That's a very good question. Yeah, actually, I was in, in Mexico studying industrial engineer, and then uh, uh, I started salsa as a hobby. And uh, then at some point, I realized that I was enjoying a lot more uh, dancing than anything else. So in that moment, I knew that all I wanted was to dance. I didn't know that it was going to be my profession. All I wanted to dance. But when I came to New York and beat under Eddie, that's when I was like, you know, I think I can do something with this, you know? And uh, it just, just exploded. Mm. Yeah. Nice. How do you feel about the first year anniversary, man? Uh, I, th I think exactly that, those are the words, <laughs> but uh, I think being, um, it has been a, a, um, a hard, challenging uh, first year, but I think I couldn't ask for, for a better way to start because uh, that's what I like to, uh, when I get my, uh, those challenges, when I get those um, moments that you need to make tough de decisions and, you know, high risks, uh, also, you know, they, they come with high rewards, you know, and that's what we're seeing right now. And uh, I think it's just the beginning, and uh, I know there are going to be good times, going to be bad times, but uh, as long as you have um, the right people next to you, people that love you and that care about uh, you and your vision, uh, you know, we'll make things happen. What is one thing that you tell yourself every single day? I always remind myself that I'm nobody yet, and uh, in the dancing, in personal, mm. try to be a cool person, like, uh, uh, you know, it's um, like... Hector, Hector Lavoe used to say, you know, it's, um, es chévere ser grande, pero es más grande ser chévere, you know, it's, wow. it's, it's, it's cool to be, it's cool to be the artist, the cool guy, but it's, it's, it's even better to be a, a, a better person. Mm -hmm. So I always remind myself that, that I put my, my uh, feet in the floor, that it's very easy to, to, to get your head a little bit big. And uh, I like to see my videos, and every time I see my videos, I realize that I don't like how I dance all the time. There's no one video that I like it, and I keep seeing, uh, uh, the effects on myself so that just push me to keep training and get better and get better get better and then that uh, I'm just a, a, a regular guy out there and that um, I need to keep working on myself to to become a better person that that's you know what that's fucking amazing <laughs> Alofa, thank, thank you, you so brother much, thank you, thank you so that. much thank, thank you. you thank you for your time my pleasure see you guys <laughs>